everybody, and welcome back to Trey's Models. We're gonna do an unboxing of the Ming 132nd scale ME163B Comet. Got a nice little cover sleeve there. That might come in handy for a stencil. Like that. So, straight out of the box, I've already cut the uh, sprues out of the cellophane covering because you don't really want to see that. So, first glance, first sprue. Looks really nice. Look at that panel line and rivet detail. Real crisp, not overdone. Looks pretty impressive. Canopy frame, looks really nice. On to the next sprue. Got some nice surface detail on the flight controls. Everything looks really nicely molded. Absolutely no flash. Attachment points on the runners, real nice and small. Make it clean up real nice and easy. Next here, got some more bulkheads and some details. The actual rocket motor. That's pretty cool. Don't know that we'll display it with that open or not, but it's nice to have it there. You could build it separately and put it on a stand. That'd be kind of cool. And here's the next sprue. You got your cannons. 30, 30 millimeter, I believe, on this one. Heavy punch. Slow rate of fire, but heavy punch. Instrument panel. Just flip that around the right way with the gauges. What little gauges there will be on this. Not exactly like you have to worry about manifold pressure with this one. Wings look really nice. Nice surface detail. Open leading edge, just like the real deal. And then in the Black molded sprue, we've got the landing skid, the dolly, parts for that. That's really awesome. Clear parts, I'm not taking them out of the cellophane right now because I don't want to get them, take the chance that I'm getting damaged yet because don't know how far along we'll be before we actually get to work on this, but through the cellophane, it looks really nice. Got some actual rubber tires. That's kind of cool. A little bit of photo etch. It's kind of nice. Let's see what the instructions look like. Oh, we got some more. I'm still a little spot over here. Got some more there. It looks like uh, instrument panel. Interior parts. That's kind of nice touch. On to the instruction sheet. Well, this is kind of nice. It's almost like a book. Decals or decals, depending on where you're uh, at. Look really nice. They all look in register. Gives you an option for the captured one. Bit of backstory, story about one of the pilots. Three different schemes. So you have the traditional splinter camo with the gray bottom. Solid red and then the captured one. It's kind of cool. So it gives you some options. Pretty comprehensive instruction sheet. Really nice. Very, very good looking kit. Looking forward to getting started on this one. Here's your uh, camo layouts for your different options. So this looks like a uh, really nice kit by me. Be looking forward to getting started on this. So stay tuned for a build video. Hope everybody's doing awesome out there. And we'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Well, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. 
Y'all be good to each other, and we'll see you on the next one.